Hi all, welcome back to Odo 16 development tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about how to make a sequence number in Odo 16. Sequence number which is a unique one that helps you identify each record. For example, uh, let's go to the invoicing module that is accounting one. Here we can see the different invoices. Let's open one. So here we can see its sequence number that is INV 2022-00003 which is a sequence number for this particular invoice and which is unique one. When we compare to the other invoices, each records have different different sequence number and which helps to identify this each invoices. So today in this video, let us deal about the sequence number and then how to create a sequence number in order 16. So let's try to create a sequence number for our school management records. So here we can create the student management records that is the student admission records. So here let's try to add a admission code which can be created using the sequence number. So let's go to the school management module. So here school.py I already defined the school.student model and a field for this particular sequence that is as admission code and which is a character one and string is admission code. So let's try to add its default value as new one. So we just add as index as true and then default val value as uh, new one. So default equal to So the default value as new is uh, updated for this field admission code and then let's try to add this sequence number. So for that we need to create a record under the model ir.sequence. So already for my school management module I created a folder data. So inside the data I created a sequence.xml and here I defined a particular record which with uh, id school sequence under the model ir.sequence. And then name, we can give a name for this particular uh, sequence. So it is based on the school management record. So I just give the name as school.sequence. And then let's add a code. Based on this code, the sequence is works. So I just give it a code as school.student.sequence. And then prefix. Prefix means the, uh, the character or the word that we needed just before the sequence number. So it is based upon the admission records. So I added it as ADMN for admission and then padding. Padding means uh, that means by adding a value to the padding, we can decide the length of that sequence and as combinatory as false. And then this particular data sequence.xml is updated on the manifest.py as data sequence.xml. Then let's return back to the school.py that is school.student. And here let's try to create, try to add a function that is inside the create function. Let's uh, add the functionality for creating the sequence while we create each records. So under the API operation, I use the API.model and then let's define the create function. So while we create this record, automatically the sequence will create it. So I just added a condition that if the VALS list have admission code as new, then we can update the VALS list of admission code as self.env and then the sequence that we have defined inside the ir.sequence. Then which uh, call a function that is next by code. And then here we need to add the code that we added inside the ir.sequence record. 
so in the sequence.xml i already defined the code as school.student.sequence so i just copied the sequence and then added it inside the next by code so its code is school.student.sequence or otherwise on the default i add updated it as new so so using uh, so this vars list of admission code is updated by we creating this record the admission code is updated as a sequence that we have added using the code school.student.sequence which of prefix admn and of padding size as 5 and then let's super this particular model And the result is returned on the corresponding create function updated the code for creating the sequence then let's run the pie charm go to the ui so we added a sequence.xml on the data file so i just uh, updated the score management module So the module is upgraded. So let's go to the settings, technical, sequences. Here we can see the sequence that we have created that is school.students.sequence and which has the name that we have updated as school sequence and then the sequence code school.student.sequence and the prefix admission and the sequence size is 5 and the next number, next number is 1. So let's return back to the school management. Here let's try to uh, create some records. So I just create a record. So uh, the sequence that we have created using the ir.sequence and then the, inside the create function will works and its uh, sequence is generated for this admission record as admission 001 and if we are trying to create a another one we can see the next sequence is created as admission 002. So when we view it on tree view, we can see that for each records, each unique sequence is created. Likewise, we can create sequence number for each records in order 16. I hope you got the idea about how to make a sequence number in order 16. Thank you for watching the video.